Sext, or sixth hour, is a fixed time of prayer of the divine office of almost all the traditional Christian liturgies. It consists mainly of psalms and is said at noon. Its name comes from Latin and refers to the sixth hour of the day after dawn. <laughs> Meaning, symbolism and origin The Hora Sexta of the Romans corresponded closely with our noon. Among the Jews it was already regarded, together with terse and nun, as an hour most favorable to prayer. In the Acts of the Apostles we read that St. Peter went up to the higher parts of the house to pray Acts 10 verse 9. It was the middle of the day, also the usual hour of rest, and in consequence for devout men, an occasion to pray to God, as were the morning and evening hours. The Fathers of the Church dwell constantly on the symbolism of this hour. Noon is the hour when the sun is at its full, it is the image of divine splendor, the plenitude of God, the time of grace. At the sixth hour, Abraham received the three angels. We should pray at noon, says St. Ambrose, because that is the time when the divine light is in its fullness. Origen, St. Augustine, and several others regard this hour as favorable to prayer. Lastly and above all, it was the hour when Christ was nailed to the cross, this memory excelling all the others left a still visible trace in most of the liturgy of this hour. This scene from Good Friday is the background for sext, "'Let us not into temptation' is the message of this hour. It is also a time to ask God to grant one health and peace of heart, as in the traditional hymn Rector Potens. All these reasons and traditions, which indicate the sixth hour as a culminating point in the day, a sort of pause in the life of affairs, the hour of repast, could not but exercise an influence on Christians, inducing them to choose it as an hour of prayer. As early as the third century the hour of sext was considered as important as terse and none as an hour of prayer. The Didache, Clement of Alexandria, and Tertullian all speak of these three hours of prayer. Origen, the «Canons of Hippolytus» and St. Cyprian express the same tradition. It is therefore evident that the custom of prayer at the sixth hour was well established by the third century. But probably most of these texts refer to private prayer. In the fourth century the hour of sext was widely established as a canonical hour. In his rule St. Basil made the sixth hour an hour of prayer for the monks. St. John Cassian treats it as an hour of prayer generally recognized in his monasteries. But this does not mean that the observance of sext, any more than prime, terse, none, or even the other canonical hours, was universal. Discipline on this point varied widely according to regions and churches. Western office Despite its antiquity the hour of sex never had the importance of those of matins, lauds, and vespers. It must have been of short duration. In the 4th and the following centuries the texts which speak of the compositions of this office are far from uniform. John Cassian tells us that in Palestine three psalms were recited for sext, as also for terse and nun. This number was adopted by the rules of St. Benedict, St. Columbanus, St. Isidore, St. Fructuosus, and to a certain extent by the Roman Church. However, Cassian says that in some provinces three psalms were said at terse, six at sext, and nine at none. Others recited six psalms at each hour and this custom became general among the Gauls. In the 6th century the rule of St. Benedict gives the detailed composition of this office. Sext, like terse and nun, was composed at most of three psalms, of which the choice was fixed, the deus in agitorium, a hymn, a lesson capitulum, a versicle, the Kyrie eleison, and the customary concluding prayer and dismissal One of the most common hymns used at sext is rector potens, varix deus. The term siesta derives from the canonical hour sext. The practice developed from a Benedictine institution which provided that between the hours of sext and nun, the monks were allowed a nap to catch up on the sleep lost while chanting the night hours. Terse, sext, and nun have an identical structure, each with three psalms or portions of psalms. These are followed by a short reading from Scripture, once referred to as a little chapter, capitulum, and by a versicle and response. The lesser litany and the Lord's Prayer of Pius X's arrangement have now been omitted. With the reforms of Vatican II, sext is now called midday prayer in Roman Catholic practice. In monastic life, it is seen as a time for refreshment, reflection, and renewal. The 1979 Anglican Order of Service for Noonday is based upon the traditional structure of the little offices. Topic: <laughs> Armenian liturgy. 
The six hour in the Armenian liturgy commemorates God the Father, and the sufferings and crucifixion of the Son of God. Outline of the service Introduction Blessed is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father Blessed is the Holy Father, true God. Amen. Psalm chapter 51, Have mercy on me. Glory Now and always Amen, hymn of the sixth hour, the light of the sun was darkened. Kawares backquote a lo 3 sn ariwum. Exhortation, at every hour this is my prayer. Amenane zamu. Proclamation, again and again in peace. Prayer, blessing and glory to the Father. Now and always. Amen. During the great fast. The prayer of John Mandakuni with a sober mind. Art backquote own mount talk backquote. Proclamation that we may pass this hour. Zams ev zarajake. Otherwise continue here. Prayer clothe us. Z gets backquote o mez. Psalm chapter seventy nine verses eight to nine. Do not remember. Me yishia. Proclamation, for the sick Vasn Hiwantits backquote Prayer, assuage the pains P backquote Aratia Zts backquote Oz Prayer of Sarkawag Vardapit, remember, Lord your servants Hishia Prayer, God, beneficent and full of mercy Barirer Ev Bizumogormistuats Psalm chapter 41 verses 1 to 4 Blessed the one who considers Arani or Korhi Psalm chapter 91 The one who dwells in the most high Orban Keenlin Glory to the Father Now and always Amen proclamation again and again in peace Let us ask with faith Kondrests backquote oak backquote Havitov Prayer, Father of Mercies. Hair GT backquote out backquote eens backquote. Then they said the prayer of Ephraim the Syrian with prostations. Blessed is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father. Topic: <laughs> Eastern Christian Office. Topic. In the Eastern Orthodox and Greek Catholic churches the office of the sixth hour is normally read by a single reader and has very little variation in it. Three fixed psalms are read at the third hour, Psalms 53, 54 and 90 LXX. The only variable portions for most of the year are the troparia either one or two and kontakion of the day. During Great Lent a number of changes in the office take place. On Monday through Friday, after the three fixed psalms, the reader says a kathisma from the Psalter. The troparion of the day is replaced by special Lenten hymns that are chanted with prostrations. Then, a special troparion of the prophecy is chanted, which is particular to that specific day of Great Lent. This is followed by a prokimanon, a reading from Isaiah and another prokimanon. Then there may follow a reading from the latter of Divine Ascent. The Kontakion of the day is replaced by special Lenten troparia. Near the end of the hour, the prayer of St. Ephraim is said, with prostrations. During Holy Week, on Great Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the services are similar to those during Great Lent including the reading of a kathisma, but instead of the normal Lenten hymns which replace the Kontakion, the Kontakion of the day i.e., that day of Holy Week is chanted. On Great Thursday and Saturday, the little hours are more like normal. On Great Friday, the royal hours are chanted. During the Lesser Lenten seasons Nativity Fast, Apostles Fast and Dormition Fast the little hours undergo changes similar to those during Great Lent, except the Lenten hymns are usually read instead of chanted, and there are no kathismata. In addition, on weekdays of the Lesser Fasts, an inter-hour may be read immediately after each hour at least on the first day of the fast. The inter-hours may also be read during Great Lent if there is to be no reading from the Ladder of Divine Ascent at the Little Hours. The inter-hours follow the same general outline as the Little Hours, except they are shorter. Notes and references 
Topic. Topic. See also. Topic. Canonical hours. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton, S. V. Sext. 